In this video, we're going to talk about how to write a formula when you're given an ionic compound name that has a transition metal in it. So let's look at iron 3 oxide. Iron 3 oxide. So the first step is you want to identify what you're working with. So I have iron here and I go down to my periodic table and I see iron is here and it's a transition metal. So iron is Fe. But the thing about transition metals is that they can have multiple charges. We can't look at the periodic table and say it has a plus one, plus two, or plus three charge. We actually have to look at the name, the name. And we notice there is a Roman numeral three in front of iron. So we come down here and we see the Roman numeral three is a plus three charge. So Fe will have a plus three charge, but it could have different charges depending on what it is bonded with. But because it's bonded with oxygen, it's gonna have a plus three charge, which is right here in Roman numerals. The next thing is we have to look at oxide. Oxide is oxygen. So we come to our periodic table, oxygen's right here, has an uppercase O, and when it accepts two electrons, it'll become a minus two charge when it is an anion. So we have, minus two. Next, what we want to do is we want to add up our charges. So we have plus three minus two, and that equals plus one. The problem is, is when you form a compound, it wants to equal zero. So we have a plus charge here. So we're going to add another oxygen minus two. We're going to add the negative. And then we add this up. Plus three minus two minus two equals minus one. We're negative. Let's add another positive. So Fe plus three, and we re-add this up, we get plus three plus three minus two minus two. So now we have a plus two charge. Remember, we're trying to get to zero. So I have a plus two, so I'm gonna add another negative, and I'm gonna add another oxygen minus two, and add this up, and I get plus three plus three minus two minus two minus two, and that equals zero, which means now what I can do, because it equals zero, is I can count how many of each one I have. So I have one, two iron, so two Fe. I have three oxygens, one, two, three. And then what you do is you start writing your formula. So I have uppercase F, lowercase e, subscript two, because I have two irons. Then I had to put my oxygen down here. I have uppercase O, subscript three, because I have three oxygens. So iron three oxide is Fe2O3 for its formula. There's a second way to go about writing these formulas. So once you find your charges, so Fe plus three and O minus two, is you get rid of those charges. So you get rid of those. So instead you have this. Then you cross over the three, cross over the two, and you get Fe2O3. Simply by crossing the two over here and a three over here, you write it as such, and it's the exact same thing as you had on the other side.